Schomburg Center houses one of the most comprehensive collections in the world devoted to documenting the history and culture of people of African descent. Uh, Mr. Schomburg was a major supporter of art and artists in the African American community. In fact, before he started uh, working at the 135th Street branch of the New York Public Library, he was organizing exhibitions there for African American artists. Uh, one of those that he was especially impressed with was uh, Aaron Douglas, leading visual artist of the Harlem Renaissance. The four murals that are uh, held by the Schomburg Center, entitled Aspects of Negro Life, were painted by Aaron Douglas in 1934 and are generally considered to be the most significant works that he produced. One of the most exciting acquisitions that we've had uh, in the course of my tenure here uh, took place here in Harlem at 409 Edgecombe Avenue. I was sitting in my office one day and I received a phone call from a friend of mine who lived in the 409 Edgecombe building. She told me that uh, there were some old trunks downstairs in one of the uh, rooms of the building and that they were planning to throw them out the next day. Uh, she said those old trunks had some interesting names on them, people who had been major historical figures in Harlem who had lived in that building. Names like W.B. Du Bois and uh, Aaron Douglas and Thurgood Marshall and other folk of that nature who had lived in this um, extraordinary apartment complex. Among the most significant materials acquired during that acquisition was a collection of letters written by Aaron Douglas to his wife, Alta Douglas. The Douglas trunk also included a copy of the magazine Fire, as well as a manifesto that he had written for Fire, a magazine published by some of the young uh, artists and writers of the Harlem Renaissance, including Langston Hughes and Zora Neale Hurston, among others. This is a manifesto uh, for the magazine Fire, devoted to younger Negro artists, uh, written by Aaron Douglas, and it reads, uh, I'm writing this to give you a more detailed account of our project and of ourselves. We are all under 30. We have no get-rich-quick complexes. We espouse no new theories of racial advancement socially, economically, or politically. We have no access to grind. At the beginning of the 20th century, black people were believed to have no history or culture. Mr. Schomburg and others gathered the evidence to disprove this myth, and today, we have a collection of more than 10 million items of evidence documenting the place and role of people of African descent.